Hello to you. I'm Jesse R. Johnson. I'll be speaking to you about the sacred scriptures of the atheists. I will be on chapter, chapter, which is the pages of self-radiance and death and life. We stopped on part 9 at verse 27. We will be picking up at verse 28. This is part 10. Hold on, please. Verse 28. Physical actuality is a slightly more dense modification of the ultimate light. Verse 29, conscious death in non-electromagnetic light is the way of life, to reside in the ineffable divine domain. 30, love is a non-one God or gods, non-religion, wordless, non-verbal, divine, nameless name of the ascending life current of the river of life where unhappiness is an impossibility. 31. Death is free of all limiting implications. It is a modification of the supreme self-radiant, all-pervading, transcendental being, self-be, having no source and no mechanism, having no holes and no parts, non-ego, self, supreme conscious, eternal genius, of which all things and beings is a modification of. 32. Death has no bond binding power. Death is a dimension, form, of non-mechanical meditation. Death is of the body and psychic only. 33. You surrender to death in thought, just as you surrender to sleep in thought. The more relaxed you become, the more balanced one's energies become. Yes, it is you whom is being spoken to. 34. All that arises and appears as things, beings, processes, and the universe itself is translated out of the realm of appearances and being. Number th verse 35. We are like those preparing for a wonderful long journey. Our whole life is associated with a long trip. You must become true wise, not false wise, while alive. You must die as ego false self while alive. The death of the ego. Number 36. Just as you must understand life to respect and enjoy life, you must understand death to respect and accept death before dying. You have no choice, respect or suffer. You must die conscious when the day comes that you'll die. Verse 37. You feel negative about existence because of a sense of limitations and power. 38. You yourself, as ego, a fictional mental self, is contractions and trapped energies inhering in the infinite field of self-radiance. Death is not against the body. The body has its own wisdom and already knows, without thinking or words. 39. For this is true, death does not exist. Only the body-mind, ego-psychic, dies. Death itself, pardon me, life itself has no opposite. The opposite of death is birth. Sutras 2, number 40. That which is alive, that which is alive, with all capital letters, is deathless and cannot be threatened. 41. Life and not death, is the principle of existence. We are the substance of and inhere in the living divine. The way of life is ego transcending love communion with and of self-radiant eternal life, eternal genius, living divine, non-ego, non-religion, non-one God or God's being. Number 42. 
personal existence is a realm in the quali qualitative dimensions of which there are about 25. It is a process, and the I identity is an activity, not an object or soul or fixed defined entity. Personal existence is a dependent aspect of the universal process. Every single thing and being, smallest to largest, is an aspect of the attributes and essence of undefinable, infinite changes, appearances, processes, and influences. 43. Pass through ego psychic death while alive. Verse 44. The manifest, pardon me, the manifest physical realm is fluid and shapeless yet immovable. The real non-religion, God, divine, eternal condition is beyond any and every form of forever. Number 46. Death seems over-important only from the point of view of fear. It is the living process that is significant. Number 47. It is better to understand the mind than to create philosophy with it. The universe and all that it is inheres in the great non-body-mind consciousness. Number 48. We do not live. Life lives us. We are being lived. We do not survive. Life survives us. True life is the ultimate extreme of all extremes in intensity of infinite radiance absolute. Ultimate radiance, supreme consciousness, omni all, inclusive power of transgenius intelligence. Verse 49, true life is spirit of non-religion God, divine reality, eternal, utter, non-verbal, independent truth before the non-religion Supreme Being. Number 50. You are ignorant of more things in comparison than the things you have knowledge of. Ignorance is in fact for us the principle of our existence, and it is an impossibility to know what anything is. Upon this truth we must build our lives. This teaching cannot be transcended. 51. The truth is summary, irreducible. It cannot be changed. We are a condition of utter, total, absolute, complete, unqualified mystery of indeterminable, of unalterable ignorance. There are no consolations, none. We exist in and as this moment, the end. Nothing to console us. It is our condition that is the truth. That is it. And it is not an answer. There is no answer. 52. Your struggle for an ultimate answer is 100% futile. All the answers you get and you'll still physically and psychically die. Even if you lived 100 billion to the, to the 100 trillion power in years, you will never know what anything is. It is an illusion to think you do or can. 53. One of the main laws is change, the sacrifice of everything present to oblivion. You are important, but no more important than the trillions and more of the beings, large and small, in the scheme of infinity. 54. Happiness is only possible through the intuition of the real. Our business is to be the healthiest and to be happy. You must acknowledge the vision of eternal life while you are alive. We live in an open-ended place on the edge of infinity. Life is about truth, inspection and recognition of this one life. Not about hope, faith, consolations, cures, knowing all. There is a sublimity that transcends all of that. 55. This ego life is torment, looking for something else, chasing, starving, but not for physical food. Stupidity, terrible with despair. You will live and you will die, and so will all of your friends and peers. There, there is this lifetime and death time, and that is it. 
you will never know what anything is. This has been part 10, and I want to thank everyone for watching and listening, and I want everyone to have a very good day.